Brachidios is a brute wyvern introduced in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. He is the flagship monster of the game and can live in harsh climates like the volcano or the tundra. Previous brute wyverns would mostly attack by charging or biting, but Brachidios is different in that he attacks with his fists. He is the first monster in the series to make use of Blast Blight, which was a new status ailment that would cause you to explode if you came into contact with an attack. Brachidios inflicts Blast by smacking you with his fists, which are covered in explosive slime. He will punch the ground and leave it there, where it goes from green to yellow to red before exploding. Touching the slime when it's on the ground will inflict Blast Blight, and ideally you don't want to be near it when it explodes. Most of his attacks involve punching. Punching to the side, punching downwards. He often attacks in twos, one after the other, and each attack leaves slime on the ground. This side punch in particular has his tail swing around him, which can knock you over. He can also swing his tail around as part of its own attack. It is possible for Brachidios to run out of slime when he's attacking, and when that happens his fists will not inflict blast light, nor will they leave slime on the ground. To avoid this, he will often stop and lick them, applying fresh slime. This one attack here has him quickly lick them before leaping at the player. He can also charge while punching down, applying slime as he goes. Brachidios constantly pivots and moves around while fighting, so you have to move around to dodge him too. But you also have to be wary of the slime puddles everywhere, which makes for a fun dynamic. When enraged, he will begin to excrete slime all over his body and it becomes yellow. The result of this is that the slime left on the ground will take less time to explode and certain fist attacks will explode instantly, raising the challenge substantially. He gains access to two new attacks, one where he digs his horn into the ground, causing rapid explosions to occur in front of him, and another where he digs his horn and fist down, causing explosions around him. Breaking his fists has a somewhat substantial effect on the fight, as it causes slime to come off his fists more easily. This means he'll have to stop and lick his fists far more often than normal, giving you more breathing room. G-Rank Brachidios doesn't do that much differently- oh, oh goddammit, give me a sec. G-Rank Brachidios doesn't do that much differently. He attacks a bit faster, and will sometimes jump without licking his fist, making him a little more unpredictable. Brachidios returned for Most Hunter 4. He doesn't change all that much, but he has been refined quite a bit. His explosions are much smaller, and seems to more accurately reflect the slime puddles in terms of size. His area of effect explosion attack has brighter indicators for where the explosions will occur. You can also actually shield the explosions in this game, which was not possible in 3 Ultimate. Brachidios can also do his horn stab when neutral, only this will cause a much larger pool of slime to spread on the ground. Breaking his horn will not reduce the puddle in any way. When he is enraged, he can move a lot faster. Another addition is that Brachidios can now climb, and if he has slime on his fists, the puddles will stick to the walls. This is so that he can reach you in certain areas of the game. In G-Rank, he once again doesn't get many changes, but he now has the ability to sprint. Sometimes he will just run at you, and it makes him a lot less predictable and changes up the fight in a small but effective way. The post-game of G-Rank introduces a new variant, the Raging Brachidios. This one is much larger and slightly green, with yellow slime on his body by default. Some of it covers his tail, meaning those attacks will also inflict Blast Blight. Raging is a lot slower, but the key difference here is that the slime on his fists, head, or tail will sometimes glow red, meaning all attacks from those parts will cause immediate explosions. Hitting them in this state will cause them to explode in place and deal massive damage, before becoming yellow again. This adds a new dynamic to the fight, where you now have to be a bit more careful about how you approach him, because attacking without thinking will put you in danger. Raging can only be fought in the special arena of Ingle Isle, and because traps cannot be placed here, he cannot be captured. Both are also featured in Most Hunter Generations, with few if any changes. Brachidios feels faster in some ways, but it's harder to tell. Brachidios returned for Most Hunter World's expansion. In Iceborne, he looks much more detailed than before, very shiny and polished. He only resides in the Elder's Recess and the Guiding Lands, not the Hoarfrost Reach, which is interesting because he could actually be found in 3 and 4 Ultimates respective ice maps. Brachidios has quite a few changes here. He no longer inflicts the standard Blast Blight. This is a new type called Blast Scourge, which takes 5 evades to get rid of instead of 3. Sometimes you can also get stuck in his slime puddles. He can now swing his tail from side to side, an attack shared with other Brute Wyverns. When performing his punching advance, he can adjust his direction, and he has a quick horn thrust that he can chain into other attacks. A very welcome change is that his horn can also lose slime, and when depleted, the thrust won't create the large puddle. 
His area of effect explosion attack is now indicated by glowing slime puddles, which is a change that also makes a lot of sense. In general, he tends to be much faster, and chain attacks together in threes rather than twos like the old games. Iceborne's third title update added Raging Procidios to the game. He can only be fought in the Guiding Lands, which is completely devoid of other monsters. Raging has been changed quite a bit, but let's get the most impactful difference out of the way. He's still a larger, slower, greener Brachidios, his slime can still turn red and cause explosions. But in Iceborne, hitting the slime will cause it to fall on the floor and explode after a moment. Getting hit by Raging's explosions will cause Fire Blight. He can perform an attack with his tail similar to Diablos when he slams it down, and this creates a slime puddle on the ground unless you sever it, where it instead leaves nothing. He can also dig his fists into the ground and dig up explosions, either once or twice in a row. The Guiding Lands allows you to place traps, and Raging can be affected by them. When he reaches a low enough health threshold, he will retreat to Area 15 of the Guiding Lands. Once he spots you inside, he will begin rapidly punching in the ground, imbuing it with slime before screaming and blowing it all up. This is Raging Brachidius' final stand. He is close to dying, and so he discharges all his slime into the ground. You cannot leave the area and you cannot place traps. One of you will lose this fight. The music you are hearing now will also play during this phase. Every single attack will cause massive slime puddles to seep into the ground. Standing on them won't cause blast scourge, but they'll seep your health. Raging will sometimes roar, causing more slime to appear. His body is steaming and all his slime is going onto the ground, although his physical attacks will still inflict blast. When enough slime is on the ground, Raging will let out a roar that blows it all up. The explosion damage is not just you but him as well, and this cycle keeps going until one of you dies. I love the 4 ultimate Brachidios, and I think he is a straight up improvement over the 3 ultimate version. The explosion hitboxes are way more accurate, and there's a few other changes and additions that make sense. But what I really want to talk about is Iceborne Brachidios. I did not like this one. I thought he moved around way too much, and something about the way he moves just feels unnatural. I had this opinion for a long time, until I re him a few times for this video. I realised that I don't actually dislike Iceborne Brachidios. I just really hate the Clutch Claw. Without it, he's still a lot of fun, and I really appreciate the changes they gave him in this game. Although I think Blast Scourge was a bit unnecessary. Raging Brachidios in 4 Ultimate was not fun. I really didn't like the Flashpoint Slime, especially because it did absurd amounts of damage. Gunners had a massive advantage when fighting him, since they could just shoot it and still be safe. In my opinion, he is one of the worst variants in the entire series. Which is very funny because Iceborne Brachidios is possibly one of the best variants. Aside from his original attacks, changing the Flashpoint Slime so that it drops on the floor still retains challenge but feels fair, as there's always time to dodge as long as you're being observant. The final phase is also really cool, with the music changing new mechanics, the fact that you can't even leave the area and the way his own explosions damage him really makes it feel like a fight to the death. On my first ever run I was down to one cart against him, so it really was a final stand for both of us. They didn't just improve him, they didn't just make him good, they made him amazing. I think he's probably the best Brachidios, although I'm still very fond of the full Ultimate version. Which Brachidios is your favourite? Let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe and have a good day.